Uh, what, what are you seeing from David Irvin, and you excited to see him back? Oh yeah, big old Dino, you know, big dinosaur roaming around here. So we just gotta, you know, just come in and go to work and, and get ready for camp. He was roaming around, but how did he look? Oh, uh, you know, he's just running. They have him running right now. So just the process right now, getting back in good shape and getting ready to go. But it was great to see him. What does he bring to the defensive line when you do have him healthy in there? Oh, I mean, you know, he's he's a heck of a player. One, I mean, he terrific pass rusher. And you better account for him. You have to. So you get two or three guys up there now, maybe four guys that can all all have to win their singles. Then it's he's another guy inside that can make things go for it. Does he have things together personally to, to really focus on football now? Oh, I've seen him here and I talk with him. I think things are moving along good. So it's just happy to see him. Randy Gregory's a guy that's trying to get back and granted you haven't been able to speak with him. What would adding a guy like Randy Gregory back to this defensive line do for this? Yeah, well, I think the first with him, get him in a stance and get him going. You know, it, it, he's been off for a long time. He's talented, no question, and he's a great guy and smart. But number one thing we got to do is just groove him back in, groove him back in before I start setting standards for him and goals. Let's just get him in a stance, start teaching him the game of football. Because, like I say, it's kind of like golf. If you don't play for three or four a year, it, it's not the same the timing. So I'm just excited to hopefully get a chance to work with him again. Vandrash hasn't been able to go the last couple practices. Uh, is he missing much? Uh, oh yeah, you miss every day. I mean, these practices are precious, you know, and you only get so many. You get 12 total, of, you know, on the field. So they are precious, you know, but things happen. And uh, he's really a good student in the classroom, learning walkthroughs, those things. But right now, it's, you got to practice football and he'll get that in camp. You don't like to miss anything. How much improvement have you seen from Jalen Smith? You know, it's the movement is really, I mean, he always kind of knows where to go and doing. He's, he's really a real student of the game, works hard. He's in there with Sean all the time. His movement is different. You can just see it. I mean, if you guys are watching, he's planting his drive and his breaks and his redirection really looks good right now. And he works at it. He works. He seems to be really happy out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Playing pro football. How could you not be? <laughs> You mentioned, yeah. Brad, you mentioned like to Irving um, mm -hmm. roaming around, as you said. Um, how is his conditioning? Where is he in, in that? Uh, I wasn't able to see him, but it's, it's not good enough yet. So that's why now we, he's here and he's working at it. That's step one. And now he's got to continue to the summer and then get him into camp and go. How have you liked what uh, Chris Richard has brought to the secondary? Oh, I love it. I, I love it. And, and not just secondary, the whole defense. Great energy, great teacher. Upbeat, bright, you know. Like I said before, he's—I think, for me personally, that's our best, best guy we got in the whole year.